Alright, so it looks like there's been some drama with Kayla Nicole, Ty, and Daisha, and we're gonna break everything down in this series. You know, in season one of Frenemies, we talked about why they broke up and gave you a really good conclusion to the whole drama that happened, like, what, two years back? It was like a while back, even before Corona. It was old. But after everything and the escalation, Ty made it very clear that she wasn't going to be friends with Kayla Nicole. She was on a live stream, and while she was live, a lot of people kept on saying Kayla Nicole's name, and here are a few of the things that Ty said. It will never get on my mother's YouTube channel that will never get any type of that bit i won't even acknowledge that <laughs> okay period i don't even know who 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 who, who is that i'm gonna just talk i'm gonna read the question and talk my <laughs> well i'm not gonna read the question i'm gonna read it in my head and then talk my because these y'all gonna be fucked up with these questions i'm sorry i'm sorry if i'm being a little mean i'm still hot about that other situation because somebody brought it up and that's I'm really thinking about it now. I wasn't even thinking about it until somebody said something. I need to forget about it again because I surely was forgetting about it. It wasn't even on my mind no more. After that, there was the whole scandal when Kayla Nicole had a third member in their relationship and Zoe ended up talking about that situation and bringing up back the situation with Ty. When I sat back and I thought about it, I was like, okay, rewind to the Ty situation. And I was like, hmm. Was Ty telling the truth? Cause remember Ty had said now, her and Kayla had gotten into it and they got in an argument because Kayla had had a crush on her. Now remember now, Kayla said she wasn't like that and she didn't like Ty, but Ty said that Kayla liked her and then Kayla got upset because Ty was trying to holler at the manager and Kayla was like, why couldn't it be me that you like Ty? Well. Yo, that ain't none of my business, but I'm just saying, honey. It's just making me question some Anyway, after Zoe's video, Kayla Nicole end up saying this on her IG live. The truth will reveal itself. It's pretty annoying seeing y'all put two and five together and get one. Mind my business correctly. I'll stay the app out of it. Next case. After that, Kayla Nicole ends up going live talking about the situation. Get your ass out my damn face. I have my question thing turned on so y'all can ask me some questions because a lot of y'all had some interesting questions. And honestly, I'm waiting on the right time to do this because everything is genuine on my end. But I'm like kind of just sick and tired of everybody putting two and five together and getting one about somebody being right in this past situation. And that's not the case. I guess, I guess, I guess y'all can take that and run with it like y'all did. But I'm going to speak my part, okay? Because I just feel like y'all are loud and wrong and we don't need to keep spreading bush. Anyway, according to Kayla Nicole, she was never going to bring this to the internet because her and Ty end up rebuilding their relationship. You know what I'm saying? I was never going to bring this to the internet because I was liking the way we was building everything back up. But I just feel like it needs to be a sit. Not, it, not even a sit down because really I was just like okay well as long as I get an apology but it really needs to be corrected and addressed and that's just out of respect for this friendship especially if we both want this I can't keep sitting here taking the backlash and people thinking they know what the f they talking about it's not fair it's not fair at all so basically she feels that the whole thing needs to be corrected and if you notice Kayla Nicole and Ty never came onto social media addressing why they were back friends what they did wrong the apologies to each other they never did that so it made me think did they not do that because both of them are both guilty in the situation did they not do that because they didn't want to bring any more attention to the situation i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below and just in case you guys say she wasn't talking about ty it was very obvious that she was talking about ty in this live stream i'm not going to explain myself about my whole relationship thing i'm just talking about this past situation that i had with a friend that everybody keep trying to tie together with what i got going on right now are you going to tell us why you want to stop being friends i already told you not no longer friends in that their relationship rekindled now not only that i cannot find this footage anywhere some of you guys
guys may remember or may not remember, but it was very obvious that to me it looked like their relationship really wasn't smoothed over. It just was really weird. To Kayla Nicole from what she was saying, it was as if she was making out as if their relationship was good, but on the other end, Ty was remaining very silent and not saying anything at all or posting anything. It was just really weird. There was even a time where Kayla Nicole went on Snapchat to show to show that she was with Ty in the car. And Ty's face, you could just read it, man. It was like a damn book. It said everything. It was like, why the hell are you putting me on Snapchat? It was like a very weird thing. It's like Kayla wanted to show everyone that they were cool, but at the same time, Ty was not ready. Or maybe they were still trying to build it up. I don't know. But anyway, since Kayla Cole got pregnant and had the whole party thing, it looked like their relationship was cool. I ended up going to her birthday party. Like, it honestly looked like they had a really good relationship. They even filmed bundles. They even made a music video for bundles, which is one of their songs that went viral all across social media. It looked like from the public that their relationship was really good and everything was building up again. Until recently. Someone commented and Kayla responded by saying F bundle. <gasps> After that, social media picked up that obviously something is going on. Ty then ends up posting this on IG. Please stop associating my name with the NF you no longer see me with. They're not around for a reason. For some reason, some people were thinking that she was referring to Kayla Nicole, but I can't help but to think that she was referring to her ex realtor. I don't know. It's very confusing if she was talking about Kayla Nicole or the realtor because he was on holidays with her recently. He also celebrated Ty's birthday with her. I don't know if she's talking about Kayla or the guy. Who do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. After that, people started to realize Kayla Nicole and Ty weren't following each other. Again, I don't know if this is a error on IG's end because you can't keep on following and unfollowing people all the time or if they did follow each other back and unfollowed each other back. But Kayla Nicole ended up posting this. Really successful looking successful. Now in this situation about bundles and not getting posted on the tea rooms and all that, people started saying things about the situation saying that Ty is the prong the bag to her and she couldn't even act right to get a bag that was basically placed inside her hands. Daisha obviously defended her sister saying, oh but they just cashed out on a roll so who really got the bag? Bitch stop trying her. Ty ended up posting on Instagram, sitting alone and enjoying your own company is better than being surrounded by fake people. And after Daisha said what she said, Kayla Nicole decided to respond by posting this on her IG saying, Bean, indicating that she's been doing it, that she's been successful, that she's been doing everything. After that, Daisha ended up posting her successes with her sister. 2017, Taylor Girls released signed to RCA. 2016, way before you was discovered. Oh my god, at this point, I I don't know why they try to act like I did it first, you did it before me. It's kind of petty at this point. Ty ends up posting her achievements on her IG <laughs> currently. Thank you, God, for the blessing me and still blessing me. Life is Right. Anyway, after that, Taisha ends up going live stating that she will defend her sister and have her sister's back. I know y'all always think I'm getting into some shit, but I'm gonna stand behind my sister. I don't give a f about none of that. And that's just what the f is. We blood. We're not gonna sit here and keep going back and forth with y'all and anybody else because at the end of the day, y'all been not like the Taylor girls. So it don't matter. Mother Taylor girls can have gold ass and plaque to say every mother fact in the world. Y'all be just gonna still stand behind whoever the fuck y'all wanna stand behind. So that's already mother known. At the end of the day, me and my sister were doing just fine. Been doing fine since 20 in uh, goddamn all, all our mother life. And the bitch is still doing fine. We're doing better. And I just wish everybody the mother best. Y'all know why y'all not friends. So we don't even have to keep going back and forth with why the f who been doing it, who wasn't doing it. We know what we doing right now. We know what's going on right now. Everything else is irrelevant. <laughs> bitch, we sitting in the stars. My sister is walking proof that you can do anything you put your mother to. We ain't have nobody. We ain't never had nobody other than my parents um, who have been the only people to put their mother they lights and all that shit on the line for us. So we don't own a mother explanation to no mother body. God has been blessing us and I'm not gonna sit here and you know, flaunting that shit. But at the end of the day, bitches need to know. Bitches really need to know. Like, do not, do not try my sister. Ever. Don't try her. Period. Never. Ever. More fact. She would have never been a 
the bundles without my sister. Remember that. Sit on that sh That was your first and single, boo. I'm going up getting frustrated, posting and deleting on IG, saying, Shaking my effing head, bruh. I wasn't even tripping, but all this down in me gotta stop. Like, what the F? I cut you off, so why not just leave it at that? Question mark. Why the F are y'all bashing me? You just now wanna unfollow me two days ago and pop up trying to size me up? And here's a message between Cutie Pie. I guess that's Ty. Question. Ask. I was meaning to ask you what was the reason you was acting stiff. Because of how everything went and you didn't even apologize. You just acted really nice to me and not only that, I just naturally didn't gravitate to you for some reason. I was so used to not having that relationship anyway. So it wasn't needed unless it wasn't going the way it should be. And honestly, it's not. We're not the same and you don't really care. I'm lost. Apologize for what? Girl, get off my phone. Then she exposed Daisha for being pregnant. Roland not coming to meet me. How to go from you inviting me to your gender reveal to downplaying me. Now, I... After that situation, all hell broke loose, guys. Ty and Daisha end up going live and they end up exposing more. But bitches, you wanna post motherfucking personal motherfucking messages, bitch? I'm about to post a motherfucking personal motherfucking message, bitch. 